Authorities booked a Claiborne County Sheriff into his own jail today. He and two of his employees face charges. 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes is live in New Tazewell to explain the charges to us. Gabrielle. That's right, TBI announced Sheriff David Ray's arrest today. Now, it all comes after a grand jury indicted him on a slew of charges. That includes seven counts of official misconduct, one count of using an inmate for personal gain, one count of forgery, and six counts of attempt to evade or defeat tax due. Sheriff Ray is accused of using inmates to work on his personal vehicles and to put together campaign signs for him. He's also accused of trying to get around paying taxes on personal cars he sold. The TBI says officers also arrested two sheriff's office employees. Larry Allen Roberts, known as Fireball, is charged with two counts of official misconduct. He's accused of using a county car to get a controlled substance. And Captain Larry Lee Martin is charged with three counts of being a felon in possession of a firearm. This state and federal investigation began in August of 2017. TBI and the FBI then raided the sheriff's office in May. At the time, the county mayor said financial records were the reason for that. Bob Brooks is the sheriff elect. He says he was he has one essential goal to restore confidence in the sheriff's office. And my job is to to heal this county and move it forward and gain back the respect of the citizens. We'll hear more from the sheriff elect tonight at 11. The Claiborne County mayor and several commissioners were not available to comment. They are in Nashville. All three men are due in court September 10th. Back to you, Gabrielle. Thank you. And this is not the first arrest for Sheriff Ray. More than 10 years ago, he faced charges for rape around the same time he began his tenure as sheriff. Before serving as sheriff, David Ray was a Sessions Court judge in Claiborne County. He was elected sheriff in August 2006. In December of that year, he was accused of raping a 17-year-old girl. Those charges were dismissed in 2008. Voters re-elected him in 2010 and again in 2014. In May, TBI agents raided his office. In August, he lost his re-election bid to Bobby Brooks, who won by a 3-to-1 margin. Again, more on that story coming up tonight on The Night Beat.